as they're all already fractions over 100, this is easy. We have 42%, 3%, 30% and 8%. To express fractions as percentages, change them to equivalent fractions with a denominator of 100. So I got 17 out of 20 on my maths test. What was my score as a percentage? Well, 17 out of 20 can be written as 17 over 20. But with percentages, we need a fraction over 100. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to 17 twentieths, which has a denominator of 100. To get from 100, or to get to 100 from 20, we multiply by 5. So we need to work out 17 times 5. That's 85. So now that we've found our equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100, we know our percentage, 85%. So we found our equivalent fraction to get our percentage. So as we had 17 out of 20, but wanted our percentage, we needed to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. So now, imagine I got 9 out of 10 on my maths test. What was my score as a percentage? Well, we can find our equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100, and that's our percentage. So again, we found our equivalent fraction to get our percentage. Now, how about 3 out of 5? What's that as a percentage? Well, 100 divided by 5 is 20, so 5 times 20 is 100, 3 times 20 is 60, so that's my percentage. So remember, as long as we can find an equivalent fraction with a de denominator of 100, we can write a percentage. So what is 1 quarter? as a percentage. 100 divided by 4 is 25, so 4 times 25 is 100, 1 times 25 is 25, so we have 25%. Now pause the video and see if you can write 1 half and 3 fiftieths as a percentage. We find our equivalent fraction and we have our percent. And again, we find our equivalent fraction and that gives us our percentage.